tomorrow. Let us lose ourselves in the fiction section, play Lost and Found in the R3T aisle. I want to guess what book you pick up based off the line you read me. We can use our imaginations and pretend to be someone else for a while, reenact the play on the third floor, roleplay fairy tales on the seventh, close our eyes, and pretend that we are flying. We can be gypsies, pirates, kings, and queens. We can be Virginia Woolf, James Tate, Lord Paplath, or Capote. Forget our fingers in the pages. How your eyes look like they're breathing once you've lost yourself in the words that you're reading. There is a delicate amber glow in the section we are in. The light bulbs are happy to be here, happy to show us the books. And I'm feeling inspired and defeated by being surrounded in the swamp of genius. I want to kiss you on the pleat in between your eyebrows and ask you to make me a suggestion as to what hardback I should add to my collection. I want you to read me the first page of the story in my bed, underneath the covers, with just the lamp on. Put my ear to your chest and rest while my heartbeat mimics your meter. Linguistic lover, a root etymologist, page pedantics, we are aficionados of the alphabets. Hold my hand. Follow me to the bathroom, we're gonna scribble on the stall, scroll our favorite words down, definitions and all, let's highlight the halls, tattoo the toilets with passages from poets, graffiti the ground, stain it with statement, and make our mark by declaring to the world what we think of it. You and I, word warriors, instead of book burns, baby, we're gonna have ourselves some television fires. <laughs> because no one can, and that's okay. We're going to keep our minds open. I tell you that we should bring our sleeping bags next time, crawl atop the rafters, sleep above the languages so we can dream another country. Your eyes get big and hesitant because you know that I'm serious. So you put your finger over my mouth and say, shh, we are in the library. And I say, no shit, baby, yeah, we are. And you playfully nudge me and I run off to find another story to get drunk off of. I find myself absorbed in Federico Garcia Lorca, sipping on his stanzas, getting inebriated off his intellect. I look up and see you critiquing the classic. You always do that. <laughs> you find the flaws in things. I think about how sad I'll be the day you will leave, so I go back to my story trying to escape the thought of you leaving, wanting to lose myself in these pages, and wishing that all along I had been the one you wanted to get lost with. Aww.